Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Auntie Angel. How are you Miss to do what I'm waiting up for you today? Today I'll be making olive vera oil. Yes, I do make my own homemade DIY olive vera oil. And if you already know the plant olive vera, make sure it's thoroughly washed and clean and dry. We don't want any water in it. And um, this is how I make sure I take off all the prick at the end and I cut it all the way, cut it so we can get the skin off to get to the gel itself. See how beautiful that is? And then you're gonna go ahead and scrape it. You're gonna scrape it all in and get it all out. Look at that, it smells so good natural organic i don't know why you're not able to find organic olive vera because i don't see why it should be any other way because it's such a vibrant plant with so many great properties and then you just scrape it all in i already have some i'm actually using like three three large olive vera plants and it can be a little little messy so this is what I already have here for you and then I'm going to add it all in all in my blender and I'm going to go ahead a nice blend with this. consistency right here in the blender and then I'm gonna go ahead and have a pot I'm just gonna pour it all in to the pans already on the stove to have a nice mixture in the meantime I'm just gonna stir my olive vera make sure of a nice consistent glue stir to the olive vera See how beautiful this is? Most of the products that you're using for your hair or your skin enclose olive vera. So why not to make your own? You know what you're getting, what's already in the product. See this beautiful, nice consistency. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a lot of bits. And then I'm going to, um, what I'm going to be adding, adding, I'll be adding my, my olive oil. And we're going to be do, doing California, make sure it's extra virgin olive oil. Um, a lot of olive oil out there that aren't organic. This is a great brand, California. And this is what I'm going to be using and along with some coconut oil. I do not add my olive oil to my mixture as yet because um, as you know, olive oil with a lot of heat, it will um, just, you won't get all the good properties from the olive oil if you add it too quickly. And this is how I make mine. this beautiful nice consistency you're just gonna stir as you go along aloe vera is great for your skin it's great for acne it's great for a wrinkle it's good for your hair all natural hair and talk about hair i use it in my natural hair as you can see this is my natural hair 
and the shrinkage is real. So my hair is all the way down here. It's all natural. Coming out of my own head. <laughs> so I'll show you this. You can also use this on your skin, lathering it after a shower. You can use it on your face before you put your makeup on if you use makeup. Oh boy. Look at this. Mm. It has a earthy smell and it's the grain. It, can, it almost look like a gel right now. See what's going on with it right here so it's um it's real hot now it's doing it's fermenting it's boiling a little so this is what I'm gonna be doing for the olive oil I'm gonna be using um two cups and this is what I'm gonna add to my this is a half measurement this is the one that I so, ooh, you can know the difference with your olive oil. This is dark. It's in a bottle, bottle, glass bottle. That's very important. It's nice and green. This greenish gold color. You know, it's organic. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's beautiful, beautiful. And then for my, I'm gonna add some coconut oil in mine as well. This is all you have, maybe a tablespoon of coconut oil. These are the ingredients. It's actually just three ingredients. Oh, oh my gosh. You can make your own at home. You can use this use this as a deep conditioner for your hair. Just add it to your entire head of hair and um, <laughs> add a plastic bag to your head to your head with a plastic cap. You can wear it around the house, whatever, until you're ready to wash it out, and you can still leave it on until after. So here, this is what I have. It's beautiful, it's nutty, it's organic, it's ready. As I said, I use my, put my, add my olive oil after. This is how I do it because of the consistency of um, boiling your olive oil. You don't want to kill all the properties. And this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to strain it. You can use a cheesecloth or whatever cloth you have. I'm using all glass and wood, wooden um, spoon. You can notice what I'm using on mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Okay. I can see it right there. It's beautiful. So we have everything there. The whole thing is just just so beautiful. It's hot, it's very hot. You can see. I'm gonna let this continue to drain in here. But I just wanna show you have. I see have my bottles. Make sure it's a glass container. It's beautiful. Whew. Look at this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it in a dark area. Let it stay there for a, I'm going to let it sit there for a while in a dark area. And then I can use my um 
olive oil in my hair, in my hair and my skin. And guys, any question, feel free to shoot me a question and look at my beautiful olive oil, my aloe vera oil, and um, see you in the next video. Please share this, it's very important. This is um, what we use every day. Could you put it on the oil, please? I wanted to see my beautiful olive oil. Thank you.